give the screenshot here. This is not going to be the best on-screen presentation, but it is a quick look at the software, which I'm very uh, fortunate to have been uh, working on the audio. Uh, I learned a lot doing the audio and uh, wanted to pass off some of my ideas on uh, how to practice the audio to you guys. So uh, if you open up your uh, finger trainer software, it doesn't take up a lot of screen room, which is great. Uh, you'll see the different categories at the top of all your uh, different licks, uh, warm-ups, sweep picking, alternate picking, string skipping, tapping, uh, there's chords, scales, bending, legato, and combinations. Once you click on one of these categories, all your audio bytes, for instance, if you're in the warm-up section, will appear below. Um, you'll have 12 audio bytes here. Uh, let's just pick a couple of them. And you click on the numbers, like one, two, and three, and it'll play back all these audio bytes. <laughs> So you get the idea. Once you click on an audio byte, it plays back in time. Uh, the tab appears below. So when you're, you know, trying to figure out what's going on here, you just quickly look at the tab. And uh, because this is not like a, a, a MIDI program that just plays back tab with no interpretation, this is a great tool because it's played by a person. And even though they're played uh, in time and as mechanically accurately as possible, it still sounds like a person. A real person playing guitar, not not a MIDI a computer interpretation of some notes. Um, a MIDI interpretation cannot possibly interpret uh, what it's like and what it, you know the effort and time that it goes to play an exercise. And these exercises ultimately are supposed to be musical passages for your song. So uh, it's a great tool. Um, pay close attention to the sweet picking. The sweet picking uh, exercises are available here for you guys so that you're. Super fast sweeps uh, start off as very neat, slow sweeps. Here's one of my favorite right now. And of course, there's a loop function, so it's available uh, to play back in time as often as possible. Uh, another cool section over here is the chord section. Uh, you're, given, you're given the tab. Uh, of the note and also the chord and this will give you a great idea of what to play on top of these cool chords. So here's the chord. You can jam along with these chords. People are always asking, well how do I use that exercise in a song? Uh, the great thing is, is they may never be songs, they may just be exercises to you guys. I personally stole all the licks and put them in my latest tunes.